Give me a place to stand, and I shall move the earth. That's what Archimedes said about his lever. But into 12 BC, he didn't move the earth, he set the Roman navy on fire using nothing but sunlight. Picture this, it's the height of the Second Punic War, the Roman Republic. The world's greatest superpower lays siege to the Greek city of Syracuse. The Roman commander, Marcellus, has 50,000 soldiers and a fleet so large it blots out the horizon. Syracuse is doomed, except they have a secret weapon, a 75-year-old mathematician named Archimedes, for eight long months. This one man turned the laws of physics into Rome's worst nightmare. The Roman attack began, but every time they got close, they were met with hellish inventions. Giant cranes, known as the Claw of Archimedes, would swing out from the city walls, grab Roman warships, lift them into the air, and smash them back into the sea. Catapults hurled 500-pound stones. With terrifying accuracy, sinking ships with a single hit, the Roman soldiers were so terrified. They panic at the sight of any rope or beam appearing over the walls. Marcellus himself admitted, we are fighting against a geometrical god, frustrated. Marcellus decided on an all-out naval assault as his fleet rode towards the harbor. The Syracusans just waited. Then Archimedes unleashed his masterpiece. Along the city walls, soldiers raised hundreds of polished bronze shields, angling them perfectly. They weren't weapons, they were mirrors, all at once. They focused the intense Sicilian sunlight into a single, searing beam aimed at the Roman ships. The sails, coated in flammable pitch, burst into flames almost instantly. Fire leaped from ship to ship. The Roman fleet, a symbol of unbeatable power, was turned into a floating inferno. Modern experiments, from myth to the Mythbusters, have proven it's possible. Archimedes didn't need magic, he had mathematics. He understood the laws of reflection and used them to create a weapon. That was centuries ahead of its time. Ultimately, Syracuse fell, not to Rome's army, but to betrayal from within. A soldier, ignoring orders to spare the great inventor, found Archimedes drawing geometric circles in the sand. When the old man muttered, do not disturb my circles, the soldier killed him. Rome eventually conquered Syracuse, but they never forgot the man who held them off with his mind. Archimedes proved that one brilliant person could stand against the most powerful empire on earth and make them blink. Thanks for watching. If you love stories where brains beat brawn, make sure to hit that subscribe button and follow for more. See you next time.